Bloat. Bloat is bad. Which means your tables and your indexes grow even though the amount of real data being stored in the index has not increased. This new project that we're working on is going to be really transformative for PostgreSQL. It is going to enable us to get better control of bloat. Our current heap storage format is called the heap. We were talking about what we were going to name this new project. My colleague Thomas Monroe said, if you put the letter Z in front of anything, it makes it cooler. We decided that this new heap storage format was going to be called Zheap because it was going to do the same things but do them better. When you look at EDB and what we're investing in the Postgres community, Zheap is one of our big investments. We're going to add the ability to do in-place updates, which means that when you update a row, instead of creating a completely new version of the row, we're actually going to modify the existing version of the row in the place where it already is and store the old version of the row someplace else. What that's going to do is allow us to uh, eliminate the bloat much more efficiently than is possible with the current heap so that it doesn't accumulate over time. It's going to enable us to take on workloads that we currently suffer a bit and where the use of Postgres for a normal user is harder because they have to care about vacuum and so on. Eliminating vacuum, really exciting stuff. I think this is going to be particularly beneficial for workloads where there is no DBA. To imagine running PostgreSQL in the cloud, there is no DBA who can help you recover from a bloated database. You need a system that is completely self-healing, where anything that may go wrong with the system as far as possible will also be self-correcting. And I think this will be true to a much greater degree with Zheap than it is with the current system. We're hoping to have uh, at least an initial version of this in PostgreSQL 12 or PostgreSQL 13.